Well, a memory cafe will soon open in Carterville, and it's a new program offered by the Egyptian Area Agency on Aging. That's right. It will take place at the First Presbyterian Church every other Tuesday, but Brooke Slyer is there now with a preview. Good morning, Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Evie Day. Well, the first time that this Memory Cafe will take place is next Tuesday, June 28th from 11 a.m. to 1 o'clock. And this is both for those diagnosed with dementia as well as their caregivers. And joining me again this morning is Becky, the executive director and one of the organizers of this event. So what are some of the benefits for those caregivers? Because I know they take on a lot of responsibility. Well, the main thing will be education, providing them information to help them be a better caregiver, um, some skills training, and basically whatever they come and tell us they need, we'll gather information and bring it to the next session. Um, there's also going to be support from the other caregivers, and uh, basically it's a way to get out of the home safely with, with their loved one and uh, feel supported and not be so isolated. Yeah, do you think that's something that's really needed for caregivers, you know, a place just to be able to, a free space, you know, a safe space, just to be able to kind of talk about what they're going through, kind of vent a little bit and know that other people are going through something similar to them? Yes, uh, I think it'll make them feel more normal and be able to uh, socialize and not feel so alone. Absolutely. We also want to talk about um, those people with dementia that will be here as well. And Candy, you said that there's going to be some activities planned to kind of keep them busy and just so they can go ahead and, you know, socialize as well. Yeah, we will have volunteers and staff to help out. Of course, some with the early stages of dementia will be more interested in the learning education side of it. Um, but especially those that have the later stages of Alzheimer's and dementia, um, we will have activities uh, like fidget blankets, puzzles adult coloring books and we'll have volunteers here um, to help them um, you know stay entertained and have activities to do so that their loved ones can get the education and support that they need as well absolutely this is a great resource for you know those with dementia and those caregivers as well for those who want more information to be able to come to this memory cafe and brew some memories I have that on our Facebook page as well as our website that's WSILTV.com but for now back to you in the studio Brooke inside this morning. I don't want to be outside. It is a, a gorgeous morning out and we've seen a cold front go through and the humidity at least has dropped. It's not a big cold front. It's not we going to bring us a big cool one. down, but uh, checking in right now in Marion. This is live view on the screen.